it's Elle here to do your reading, your weekly reading. Thank you for being here and happy birthday to all who are celebrating uh, a birthday today uh, or within uh, the next few days, uh, the Aquarius season. Happy birthday to all Aquarius, past and present, future too, all right? So let's get into it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. And thank you guys for all of the birthday wishes, the happy birthday wishes. Um, that, meant, that meant a lot, okay? Um, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's keep it moving. All right. So Aquarius, this spread is about love, and then we've got career and finance. So we'll talk about love. The two cards that um, show your energy, Aquarius, are the Six of Cups and the King of Cups. So you're coming up really balanced within your emotions here. Really open to, maybe open to love, open to finding a soulmate. Um, you're ready, okay? You're trying to get something back to a simpler time, a simpler place. You also are decluttering your emotions. Maybe you were very emotional or you went in circles in terms of your emotions when you were dealing with a particular person, somebody that maybe um, you couldn't read really well, uh, who controlled their emotions. In terms of you, they controlled it, uh, how they felt about you. Um, they were very balanced. They knew what emotion to bring out to maybe manipulate the energy, manipulate the relationship. You know, if I want the Aquarius to stay with me and not leave, then I need to be more loving. If I want the Aquarius uh, mind to wander, for them to chase me, then I need to be distant. I need to be cold. So this is somebody who's in, you know, real control of their emotions here. And they know how to use them for good or for bad, to manipulate energy for the good or for the bad here. This also is your energy, Aquarius. So this could be you in terms of dealing with love relationships, or you've just gotten in more control of your emotions. You know which emotion to choose or to bring out in every situation. Maybe you were overly emotional. Um, maybe there were emotional outbursts. Maybe you you uh, you took things to the next level. Um, maybe you know at times, Aquarius, you went from zero to a hundred. Uh, maybe you you reacted to situations um, like the offense, you know, didn't match the punishment or the reaction. Maybe, yes, you were offended by, by whatever, but what you then did after being offended, it just didn't, you know, maybe you took it to the next level, okay? You took it as far as it could go. Um, with the Six of Cups here, it talks about innocence, okay? It talks about also connecting backwards maybe some of you started to maybe even go to other people and apologize or this is what other people are doing in terms of you this is your energy so maybe you're just realizing maybe i was a little too um emotional unstable or i was too emotional about that situation maybe i need to apologize maybe i need to make amends or maybe i just need to declutter my emotional space there's no reason for me to hold on to it it happened i'm moving on it is what it is. I need to process these emotions. Um, the Six of Cups also talks about maybe you were you, you always engaged in argument with a particular person that just turned petty. It turned petty because of somebody's lack of ability to, you know, uh, express their emotions um, maturely. There's a, a high level of immaturity in, in some relationship that you're dealing with or some relationship that you're in uh, dealing with a particular person. OK. This could be your father. This could be your, of course, romantic partner. This could be a, a guy or um, or a girl of interest here. It looks like Aquarius with the two cups cards coming out, you're understanding, um, you're really starting to accept how you feel. You're really starting to process emotions. You're really starting to take time to really think about, well, why do I feel this way? You know, and, and not really, you know, uh, I guess rationalize or be logical about your feelings. If there are feelings, you know, really process them. I feel sad. Why do you feel sad? I feel sad because uh, what can you do about this situation so that you don't feel sad? You know, you're really going through it. You're really, uh, and you're also asking yourself what, what is triggering this, you know? Um, and then some of you are just really, um, you know, understanding that maybe some relationship is best as friends. You're going to be friends with somebody. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming up. Um, 
definitely Pisces. You may be feeling like, you know, it's just best for us to be friends and we're going to be friends. We're going to be um, either friends with benefits or we're just going to be friends, friends, you know. So that's where you are, Aquarius. Your person is the Four of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So this, your person is acting in, in strategy, okay? So if I shut down, if I don't get anything, if I kind of close, yeah, close down, shut out, then um, I can stagnate the relationship. You know, I can, they also may even be looking at you or the relationship in the terms of a possession, like, because the four of pentacles can sometimes talk about possessing, being possessive, or possession. It also could talk about domination or being domineering. Your person could also try to exert on you what they want. You know, what they what their vision is for their life. They want you to accept it and, and get on board. You know, well, I want a friends with benefits situation. I don't want to be committed. So you should accept what I'm offering because, you know, you just should. And they're trying to be forceful about it, maybe with words or maybe even with actions. Uh, this person isn't over some something that happened within the connection, but they're holding it in with the four of uh, pentacles here. It says that this person is, uh, there are also layered connections here. So they're not only just dealing with you, but there's something else here. But they want to hold you. They want to hold you in, in a place, maybe even stagnate you. They don't want you to grow or they don't want the relationship to grow either. With the four of pentacles, they're definitely holding on to something. They could even be holding on to a grudge between the two of you. And maybe this is why they're not talking as much with the uh, page of swords. You know, they also could be spying on you or asking very inquisitive, maybe even, you know, evasive questions. Not evasive, but invasive. They could be evasive, like they don't want to answer questions. It's, when you ask questions, you know, they try to evade that. They don't want to talk about it. Could be dealing with the earth sign, air sign. I'm getting uh, uh, Sagittarius here. I don't know why I'm getting Sag there. Um, it seems as Aquarius, you're just at a better place emotionally because you got you gain a level of clarity. And in that clarity, you recognize your worth and you recognize that you are a catch and that you bring a lot. You bring a lot, not just in terms of maybe your financial resources or your materials or maybe even your body, but you just bring a lot in terms of who you are because it took a lifetime to really understand uh, your self-worth because you kept letting people who don't know how to place value place no value on you or the relationship therefore you are kind of maybe interpreting yourself your self-worth by way of how other people are treating you especially in romantic relationships but it looks like you get into a place of maybe even getting more fit watching what you put in your body you're looking better you have clear skin there could be hair growth you're doing all kinds of different things to uh, make the outward appearance you know, as best as possible, but also the inside too. Some of you could be practicing earth magic. Some of you could be mothers. You could work a lot. Some of you um, could be pregnant or, or wanting to be pregnant, wanting to. It's like your body is getting ready to be pregnant. Watch out, Aquarius. So your person is, um, they acting in a bit of strategy, okay? And you have to ask yourself, why would somebody need strategy with me? Why wouldn't they just want to come as themselves? Why wouldn't they just want to be authentic or genuine? Well, when you don't know who you really are, then you, you have to create this facade and this mask and masquerade around. So maybe your person is acting that way. So we're gonna to jump to career and finance Aquarius. All right, so for career and finance, we have really good cards, the Ace of Wands the King of Wands, and clarifying those two cards, we have the Six of Swords. So some of you have um, getting real fired up about your financial life, maybe even getting a yes answer. If you were waiting for approval, judgment, settlement, um, if you were waiting for an offer for a job or an offer for your home or whatever it is you are waiting for, Aquarius, it looks like it's a yes answer and it's definitely happening for you and you're really fired up about this. This is just the beginning. This is an opportunity for you to move forward. Put all your energy, effort, time behind this. Be motivated to see this thing through, whatever this is. 
the Ace of Wands can talk about the um, the new uh, business, the entrepreneur or the entrepreneur spirit. Okay, and then you have the the entrepreneur showing up, the King of Wands. He is the entrepreneur of the deck. Um, this very independent work um, because he he understands his life purpose and what he's here for. Um, and maybe some of you are getting into that place of understanding why you're here on this earth at this very time um, and that you have something to offer the world. Um, some of you could be really tied to your home right now. You can work from home. There's a level of luck associated with the King of Wands also and, and great psychic intuition or psychic abilities being heightened at this time. With the two kings showing up in this reading, I know this is love over here and then career and finance, but it says that um, especially in business, there's gonna be like, um, you know, good luck, approvals. Yes, 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 to, to whatever it is you are inquiring about. But the King of Wands, it also talks about unexpected money, finances. It says that if you are in business for yourself, the King of Wands, it says expect your business to grow at this time uh, exponentially. With the King of Wands, um, you're really sure of yourself. Something surefire, that's what I'm hearing. So you're really sure of what you're doing. You could be, you could be talking for a living or definitely organizing a lot of people, um, delegating so that everything works. There, it could be a lot of moving parts to whatever it is you are doing or waiting for. Some of you also, you're seeing the vision, you're seeing the bigger picture of it all. Whatever that means to you. you maybe you were too focused on one thing, too focused on, you know, uh, you were minimizing your vision, and now it's time to expand the bigger picture, vision. And it looks like whatever it is you're focused on, it's gonna take you away from a turbulent time. Some of you are moving, like a physical move. Some of you are the proverbial move away from. Some of you are gonna be moving away from toxic work environments, work relationships, things that just were defeating. Uh, maybe defeating your spirit. You just couldn't stay there any longer. Um, it was uh, tearing you down or is tearing you down. Some of you, again, a physical move is coming up and it may be coming there's like a level of not getting what you wanted associated with this, but moving on to something that's gonna offer you a lot more peace, security, and harmony. Also Aquarius, let's see with the Six of Swords. Um, Sometimes this, this card can indicate like moving on in shame. Again, not getting what you wanted. Also rationalize moving on. Okay, I need to do this because if I do this, then I'll be able to do that and I'll be able to open up this and then, the, you know. So you're really, in, in terms of your thoughts and rationale, it just makes sense to do this. It makes sense to either walk away from the job and go to another one. It makes sense to either go get a job. It makes sense to start your own business because you have a lot of business oriented cards. Um, Maybe even take a vacation or you need to take your mental on a vacation here. You've been too much in your head, too much strategy. You're gaining a level of clarity. Maybe even making some irrevocable change. So it's like you can't go back on this. Or it, if you did go back on it, it wouldn't be as easy. You know, you would have to kind of build a bridge to go backwards. It's almost like um, just a few days ago, we got the, the word of the day which was missed okay not not m-i-s-t but m-i-d-s-t in the midst of so when you're in the midst of something that, you know um you're in the middle part the center so it's almost like you're surrounded right you're surrounded by the past going backwards or you're surrounded by the future going forward so aquarius it's like you you in your career in finance you know that you have you're in the middle of this um, you're in the midst of this. You're in the midst of this storm. You're in the midst of this greatness. You're in the midst of it. And you have to decide, are you going backwards or are you going forward? So that's what I'm getting for some of you here. It looks like a good reading overall. You have no major arcana, Aquarius. So the universe is letting you know it's all on you and what you want to do. It's all in how you perform. Um, 
they're not going to make decisions for you. They can help guide you in your decision making, but you can't give up agency, give up free will to the universe and say, I'm just not going to do anything until the universe tells me. No, no, no. Make a decision. And if you don't know which way to go, then you need to get to a place of clarity. How do you get to a place of clarity? You get to a place of clarity by way of meditation. How do you meditate? You get somewhere quiet. You get somewhere still. And you go into meditation with that question on your mind, in your heart, okay? And you sit there until you can hear from that spiritual realm. And if that doesn't work for you, you go to a trusted spiritual advisor and they can help you work through whatever decisions you have to make. But it is not for spirit to come down, tap you on the shoulder and say, okay, go left. It just doesn't work like that. And we have to be more practical in our life. We can't be so spiritual that we've forgotten about practicality. Okay. So if it's for you to do, you know, if it's for us to do, um, if it's possible for us to do, um, oh my God, I have completely messed up the saying. The possible is for us to do and the impossible is for God, universe, spirit to take uh, control of. Okay. So if it's possible for you to do, get working on it, get started on it. Okay. Uh, don't try to put the, the possible, you know, on spirit because spirit isn't going to try to put the impossible on you. So do your part and then spirit will match what your energy, what your work is. Okay. I'll not always remember here at the channel work is rewarded. If you are doing nothing, guess what you get? Nothing. So let's get busy. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Happy birthday. Some of you are going on trips also. Um, Take care. If you need to get in contact with me, uh, all links are below. You can ask a question uh, via uh, text by texting your question to the number below. You can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where you can come for the collective reading, and then you can also ask questions during the live, okay? Um, I think those are all of the announcements right now. If you have not already got in on the new moon money jar, the new moon is today, February 1st. Um, you can contribute any amount to the jar. This is just to bring in more abundance in your life, more abundance in terms of finances. Um, maybe even, uh, bring in or usher in those wishes, manifestations that you have for your finances. Um, a new moon prayer will be held for all of us collectively. So get in on those new moon manifestations immediately. And uh, the prayer will be held for three days after the new moon. So we'll do it um, until Friday, correct? Thursday. All right. Uh, thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.